Okay. So now it says recording. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you're going to ask me some questions. Okay. Um, hello, Cody. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our interview program, 40 questions with famous people. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. It's good to be here. Thank you, you too, for accepting the, our invitation. And we can start now. Uh, so the first question, how was your childhood? How was my childhood? Um, it was good. Um, I grew up in the state of Florida and the United States. And um, I went to school. I had a brother. Um, sometimes for vacation, we would go to um, a theme park with roller coasters. Um, and um, I was I was a very good student in school and liked going to school. Okay, thank you. We have not. Okay. Now. Okay, so uh, next question. Uh, well, it was if you have if you have any brother and sister, but you say it earlier. Yes, an older brother. He's about four years older than me. Yep, just one. Ah, okay. Thanks. Uh, next question. Uh, what is your ancestry? My ancestry. I took a test um, a couple years ago, and the results were, I think, um, all European. Um, uh, so um, I think it was Germany, um, England, um, a little bit Ireland, and um, I think those are the main ones. Yeah, I think one of the Switzerland or Sweden, but I can't remember one of those. But yes, England, Germany, and Ireland. I, yep. Hey, you look like a German or an Irish. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's more like an Irish. Yes. I, I, That's because I have um, more red hair. Yes, yes. Blonde and this red. Is another question. Oh, okay. Um, uh, have you ever felt discriminated against for being a redhead? Um, it does happen to redheads, but no, I haven't. No, mm -hmm. that's nice. Really yeah. good. <clears throat> um, oh yeah. Uh, how was your uh, how was your experience in Spain? Oh, I loved Spain. Uh, really good. Um, I love your country. Um, I had a lot of fun, and I loved meeting everyone. I like the culture. Um, I think it's a little more relaxed than the United States in a good way. I think people work, but they also find a balance with their friends and family, which sometimes doesn't happen in the United States. Um, it does, but it, it depends on where you are. Um, and let's see, the weather was wonderful. Um, and it's a very beautiful country too. Um, I enjoyed Cabo de Gata a lot. And, um, mm -hmm. and um, Granada. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and, yes, the, yes, and yes. the students at the school were very friendly. I felt like I was famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was fun people, to teach. Mm -hmm. People discuss about you, science now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how was your experience in Morocco? Ah, oh, Morocco. Yeah, I had a good experience in Morocco too. Um, it was very not very long time, only a few days, but the, the northern um, part of the country is very beautiful. Um, a lot of green, mountain, mountainous, um, and the cities were very colorful. I remember they were blue, very blue, um, and um, I learned a lot about Morocco. Um, I enjoyed it, yes. 
Hmm. Yeah, nice. And uh, about Portugal? Portugal was a little bit different because um, I liked Portugal, but um, it was more of a like a vacation, a vacation because we just went to the beaches. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. okay. La, la playas. Um, so, um, and they were gorgeous, but I don't feel I had a good opportunity to meet Portuguese people. It was just the tourist areas where in Morocco, I was in the cities with many Moroccan people we could see and, and talk to, well, maybe not talk to, but at least see how they're living. In yeah. Portugal, it was just um, the beaches, so not so much. But I enjoyed Portugal; it's uh, very pretty. Yes, it's a really uh, beautiful country. I went every summer. Oh yeah. Um, what other countries would you like to visit? Oh, so many! I want to travel to every continent in my lifetime. Maybe not Antarctica, but maybe. Um, <laughs> You know the continents? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, but country-wise, I would like to travel to Canada pretty soon because it's just above the United States and I've yes. never been, and Mexico. Um, huh. And let's see, um, England, for sure. I'd love to go to London. Oh, oh me oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> me yeah. Too. Ireland um, and Scotland because I've seen pictures of the, um, how green the oh, land yeah, can be. Ireland is very green. We went in 2019. Yeah. And I go to Scotland last year. Oh, oh yeah, I mean. Very <laughs> I mean, fun it, trip, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes, um, it was, it was. But, and then I'll, I'll say one more, and also Japan, I think would be a lot of fun oh, to go yeah, to. Oh yeah, Japan. With yes, the mountains I... and like the like Japan, J J Japan, Japan, like Tokyo, or more like the Japan countryside. Maybe both. <laughs> <laughs> Why not yeah. both? Yeah, yes, exactly. Good answer. Uh, Twenty-four. Um. Oh, uh, have you been on, on other states? In the United States? Yes. Uh, yeah, mm, I've been to a lot of states now. Um, let's see, I can name some. Um, I was born in the state of Ohio, which is in mm -hmm. the north, um, but I grew up my childhood in Florida. Um, I've also lived in North Carolina. I've traveled to well, and now I live in Maryland right now, which is near the capital, Washington, D.C., um, but I've also been to California, Texas, New York, um, uh, Georgia, um, Utah, which is in the West, um, and this summer I will go to the state of Oregon, which is also in the West. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I've been to many states, and I w I want to go to all of them in my lifetime. Um, which, That's nice. That's and nice. which one of them was your favorite, or which two of them are one? <laughs> um, I think I liked probably California, <clears throat> because when I, I went to our national park, um, called Yos Yosemite National Park. If you want to look, you can look on the internet, Yosemite. I can type the name out later. Um, it is just very, very pretty. Um, you can go hiking and there's mountains and waterfalls. And I really like that a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Good enough. Um, have you ever lost yourself in a country or in another state? And if so, what was that experience like? Um, I think I lost myself in Spain one time. <laughs> <laughs> My phone died. 
and I was using the navigation on it, the map. Oh, no, and, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, I was somewhere in Almeria actually, and oh. I couldn't find, I couldn't figure out how to get back to my home. And I actually, I asked some strangers in Spanish very slowly and badly, but it worked. Um, I tried to figure out where um, the I Heart Al Maria sign is. The or the you know by the beach. Um, oh, there's yeah. the the tomato. Um, I think it's the tomato, right? And and I can't remember what it looks like, but you know the sign that says Al Maria. Yeah, it's yeah, red. It. So I, if I knew if I could get back that way, I could figure out how to get home. And they helped me get there. And I got back home. So, oh, well, good. yeah, it's nice. We have lost in Dublin too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in Dublin? Yes. Oh no. Yeah. And me in Scotland too. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yes. For hours and hours. But you got back. Yes. Finally. <laughs> good. Nice. Um, do you consider yourself more introverted or extroverted? Just a little more extroverted. Um, mm -hmm. I think I like both, but um, I like being around people more. Um, I like to be by myself sometimes, but a little bit more extroverted. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's nice. Um, would you like to live outside the United States? Oh, yes. Um, I think about moving to Europe. Um, often, many times. Um, if I were to move to Europe, I would move to Madrid or London. Mm -hmm. um, probably, or, or somewhere in England, because they speak English. But I think it would be fun to move to Madrid because I know there are a lot of English speaking people there, but I could also be in Spain and learn Spanish. So I yes. think that would be fun. Yeah, so that's nice. A good choice. Okay, so oh, a red question. <laughs> will you will will you like to travel to North Korea? Um, that's a good question. I think <clears throat> North Korea, you know, um, is under um, a very bad leader, authoritarian. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure, you know, it's difficult, but I'm sure there are good things in the country to see. But right now, no, I wouldn't because it's not safe. Um, but maybe sometime in the future, the country could get better. And I'm sure it has um, beautiful things to offer. Oh, yeah, I have the same opinion. Yes. And... What do you think about the current situation of the Native Americans in the United States? Oh, no. um, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, well, the Native Americans were in this country, this land first. Yeah. So, um, and from my understanding is it's still, it's very difficult from them because a lot of the land that they used to have is not theirs anymore. Um, I think the people, the United States citizens of all backgrounds are starting to think about how we can make it better for them. Mm -hmm. um, because there are still, there are issues um, and challenges for them. For example, yes. um, healthcare can be an issue for them. So, um, and many more, but yes, yeah. it's a good question. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, what made you, th uh, what made you think about dedicating yourself to, to painting pictures? I mean, to painting, you know? Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, um, what made you think about painting? Man, oh, how did you start? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, 
three years, four years ago for New Year's, do you, I can't, uh, do you know how people will make um, new goals for New Year's, New Year's yeah. resolutions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, I mean, I'm going to do more sports, and yes. the next year you're like, oh no, I, I don't do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. So about four years ago, I thought I wanted to try something new and creative because I think being creative is fun. Some people yeah. like to play an instrument. Some people will sing. Some people will dance. I'm not good at any of them. So <laughs> I tried um, to, um, I wanted to paint. So I tried painting um, and it was a lot of fun. And so, yep. Yeah. Good. They are really good realizations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, how did you experience the attack on the Twin Towers? Oh yeah. Great yeah. question. Yeah. yeah That's okay. So. Yeah. Um. So I was in fourth grade. Um, mm -hmm. I was about maybe nine years old or ten. I think. And um, I was actually sick that day, not feeling good. I was at the doctor's with my mom. And um, I remember watching um, on the TV, on the television in the, in the doctor's office, um, the planes and, and everything happening, the planes hitting the buildings. I didn't understand what was going on. And, and my mom was shocked very alarmed and everybody, all of the adults were um, um, panicking and um, upset. And yeah. that's how I knew something big was going on. Um, yeah. And uh, and then I learned more about what was going on, you know, after that. Yeah. Well, that, that has to be difficult in the moment. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. that's a difficult yeah. situation for people. Yeah, it changed the country for sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. The entire, the entire, the entire world. I mean, it was very important. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> Red question. Yeah. Okay, so. Will you be able to go? I mean, if they, I mean, if they recruit for I don't know what reason, uh, or to you, volunteer? Yeah, I mean, will you go to able to go to war for your country? Um, it depends on the reason. Mm -hmm. Um, I think if I thought, sorry, I think if my family was in danger, yes, mm -hmm. or my friends. But um, I am not a fighter, so um, I don't. I would not want to go. Um, I think I have skills in other areas, um, but to go into combat, you know, um, like shooting and things like that, yeah. it's fun in video games. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't think I would be very good at that. Um, maybe I could help in a different way. Yeah, yes. just in extreme situations, no? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about the movement Black Lives Matter? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's a most mostly a very good movement because mm -hmm. in the United States and I think in many parts of the world, there's still a lot of um, racism. racism. Yep. And so I think... Um, you know, why I think that um, it's saying, hey, look at this, treat everyone equally, let's fix our issues. And especially in the United States, we do still have issues. So um, it's a good movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what do you think about the uh, killing of George Floyd in specific? Yeah, we have, um, we have a trial um, right now going on for the um, police officer who yeah. did that. Um, oh, yeah, we actually see that on the news. They... Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes, interesting. And um, I have been listening and 
I think that he, you know, he's a murderer and that he should be, you know, it was, he shouldn't have um, been on George. The officer's name is Derek. Derek should not have been on him for that long. I've listened to the other police officers and even they have said that that was too long and it was um, hurtful and dangerous. So I, I hope that he is, um, I hope he goes to um, jail. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, really good law enforcement. Yes. We'll see. It's, thank you. We've not. Um, oh, another red question. Yes, and this is this really, is really red question. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about communism? Um, well, I think the only, um, party that I know of right now that is communist is the Chinese Communist Party. Mm -hmm. And um, from what I've read and seen, um, I don't like what they do and how they run the country. But I know that I also am not in I'm not um, perfectly informed. I don't know all of the information because yeah. I'm not in China, but I do have some friends that are from China and um, they also don't like it. Um, mm -hmm. So I think, um, yeah, I don't think right now in the world it exists um, in a way that is uh, good. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, is that a good? Okay, that's my answer. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. Right. Um, think about the crisis that the world is currently experiencing. Yeah. Wait, can you say it again? I I didn't hear. Uh, what do you think about the crisis that the world is currently experiencing? You know about the pandemic and all that stuff that there's going on right now. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. I think that. Um, we, me and you both are alive at a very unique and interesting time yes. in the world. Um, we have many challenges that face us, um, and they're not just, they they are more than one country. They're more than one state. They are global. Yep. Um, and I think, um, you know, for, for example, the pandemic um, and more pandemics in the future, if we have them, hopefully not, um, yeah. you know, it mm -hmm. takes collaboration, teamwork from around the world to end these problems. And so, I think for the pandemic and uh, climate issues, I think that um, that's what's needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, global collaboration. Yeah. And what do you think about the uh, 2020 US elections? Do you think Joe Biden is a good president? Oh yeah, this one is another important one. Another red question. <laughs> that's a hard one. Um, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, we can you can do the, your your opinion. I mean, yeah, yeah this yeah. one is it's okay. Um, I much prefer him over Trump, mm -hmm. but I don't think. Well, I think he's doing a very good job with the pandemic because the mm -hmm. United States is getting vaccines faster than any country in the world. Mm -hmm. um, but. Um, he is not my favorite. I think politics, maybe you also understand in your own country. Yeah. You have many people, but um, nobody is your perfect choice. Or maybe you have, yeah. maybe you like some of what they do, but not everything. So, yeah, like something, th some things are better than other. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So I think we're in a better, we're, we're doing better now with a new mm -hmm. president. For sure, but 
but I still don't think he's perfect. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it's like it's like what the country needs right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But not for a long time, or oh no, no. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh yeah. Uh, well, will you like to have children and get married? Um. Maybe. Hmm. I think it depends. Um, I have been thinking more about school and jobs, um, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe in five to ten years. Yeah, I mean, it's not something that you're thinking about right now. Right, but correct. You have another more important yeah. uh, things to do yes, before. Yes, yes, but yeah, maybe. I think so. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, did you really came across Barack Obama in Washington DC? Did I ever meet him or like see yes. him? Oh, yes. Yeah, see him. I mean, come across. I mean, um, see him. Yes, but not in Washington DC. It was in North Carolina. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Um, for the 2016 election, he came to get people to vote. Um, and I was, um, let me think, I was hmm, maybe, you know how big your school is, like yes. from one end to the other? Yes. I was about that far from him, sitting in an audience. Oh. So <laughs> pretty far, but I could see him. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was cool. It was cool. I liked it. Yeah, and you vote him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. Um, What do you think about the conception of the Americans in the rest of the world? Oh yeah, like and how the rest of the people see Americans for Hollywood and yeah, that stuff. You guys have good questions. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Um, And this is for economics. What class is this? Oh no! I mean, you can answer that in, the way in you general. Like. In general, the okay. way you like. Um, I think there are two major views of Americans. Mm-hmm. I think, um, and I'm lucky because I have traveled outside the United States. Only about half of Americans, one in two Americans, have traveled outside the U.S. So, but um, I think. One view is that we have we we have a lot of fun and um, you know Hollywood culture, uh, yeah. movies and, and all of that and um, and maybe that we're really wealthy. Um, yeah. And then there's another view that we're very ignorant um, um, and. Um, um, maybe f- full of ourselves, like thinking we're very important, more important than we are. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Um, do you consider that there's any country that is really an enemy with the, for the United States? Well, it's it's interesting because it depends on if you mean our our leaders or our people. Um, you know, I think the people of the United States hmm. would, for example, even China. You know, there's a a big um, um, uh, what's the word? Eight? No, no, um, like a conflict between China and oh, the United the States. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because we're the world's most, um, we have the largest economies, um, but I don't think that the people of the United States don't like the people of China. Well, I don't think the people of China don't like the people of the United States, but I do think that our leaders probably yes. are, you know, so I don't think we have an, it depends, um, but but China and Russia are, are probably the ones that we have the most, um, yeah, you know, conflict. challenges with. 
Oh yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Not the Spanish people, not not Spain. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Everyone that's loves to... Spain. Everyone loves Spain. Okay, oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Yeah. The twenty eighth. Okay. Oh. oh, so this one is like the the American one. Uh, like, what about we seen the movies are true? Like that the usual stereotype of when you go for breakfast and there is a uh, bacon, uh, cereals, I mean, or Rambo. Yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of things or like, you know, that's the, true. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, it can be true. It, it's if you go out to eat um, on the weekend, we call it brunch. And yes, that's there can be a lot of food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, think about, things like, yeah, I mean, the issue are barbecues or the pick up traps, you know, this that, 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 that stuff. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm trying to think what else um, in the movies. Um, school, maybe. Oh, yeah. um, school is a big part of life for young people. Um, and I'm trying to think of what is in the movies now from, do you want to name some more things? I mean, no, I mean, yeah, yeah that, that's good. That's, that's good. good. It will be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite book or book series? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking fiction or non-fiction, which means true or, or yeah, whatever you fake. want. Um, well, I could say no. Okay, I'll just say um, you're not going to know, but um, the author is Dr. Brene Brown. She is a professor and. Um, I think she, I like her because she talks about um, like understanding yourself better. Um, mm-hmm. So it's, it's more of like thinking. Oh yeah. Healthy. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. For, your, uh, for yourself. Health. Yes. Health um, health. But then of course um, I'm trying to think of a nonfiction. Of course I like Harry Potter growing up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. And 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 your favorite uh, video game or video game series? Uh, that's a good. That's a good question. Um, I like my favorite video game is um, Final Fantasy X. Oh, which um, have you heard of oh, the yeah. Final Fantasies? Okay, yeah. So oh, yeah. I really liked that one because it had a really beautiful story and it was fun to play um hey. but i also like um now league of legends mm-hmm. um and um yeah that's good for now yeah well, yeah i mean you like more video games like shoot shooting ones or maybe uh, adventures i like adventures fantasy. and um and uh competitive games like um yeah, yeah, yeah. where you can get with your friends and play and either be on a team or or fight against each other so um i also i played world of warcraft for a while too oh yeah <laughs> um and that was a lot of fun um and i think pretty soon after i graduate i'd like to get a playstation four or five mm-hmm. yes but i'm not that i'm not that good at shooter games um but they can be fun to play like yeah. Call of Duty yeah. and stuff. Sometimes, yes, when you are frustrated with the world, come. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> um, what is your favorite movie or movie series? My favorite movie mm-hmm. or movie series. Um, <laughs> I love going to the movies, the actual movie theater. And I miss yeah. that. I'm excited for that to come back soon. 
Um, oh yeah, me too. Yeah, popcorn and movies and it's fun. It's being it's fun. Um, yeah, even it is really expensive. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, the I like science fiction movies. So oh. movies like X Men. Um, you know, X Men. Um, yeah. The Avengers. Um, mm -hmm. So or, or superhero movies, superhero and science fiction. I like. Um, I like to be. I like when movies are creative and, you know. Yeah, like Marvel. Or yes. DC. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And your favorite TV show? Yep. Um. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to say favorite. Um, okay, well, my favorite reality TV show, you know, is um, a show called Big Brother. I know they have it in Spain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where people are in a house and they compete and they go to win. Have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have one. Yeah, I, I mean, we have it. one here too, but it's more like more reality show, you know? I, yeah. I don't see it, but I... Yeah, I mean, no, what is it? Everyone, mm. everyone have heard of it. <laughs> but then I also let's see. Um, you can make this I've, like a top three, top three of what you most like. I've re I recently watched um, Dragon Ball Super. Oh um, yeah. Um, and that's really good. I'm not finished. I'm on the fifth season, the last season, which I heard is the best. Um, so I like a lot of different shows. Um. I did like Game of Thrones until the last season. Oh, yeah. oh well. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, do you have any geek hobby? Do you have any freaky, like, freaky like, hobby? Like geek. I mean, like, uh, like a nerdy, nerdy hobby. Oh, okay. Um, um, I don't know if playing video games counts or. Um, <laughs> Or maybe I like to, if you mean like, um, maybe like something like D and D, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I do like Dungeons and Dragons. I played it with my friends. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I played. I liked it. I like it. I would still play. Yep. Yeah, it's it, it's just fantastic. I like to play um, mages or wizards. <laughs> yeah, she's addict to the game. Yeah. <laughs> Hours and hours playing. It's fun. It's very healthy. <laughs> yeah. And um, is there really any difference between the states of the North and the South United States? Yes. Um, not as much. The, the difference between the states, maybe like the difference between the provinces in Spain. For example, Andalusia versus um, um, Castilla Leon. I can't remember the provinces, but maybe Murcia, like the, Extremadura. Like yeah, the yeah, province of Madrid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's you're still part of the country and you have a shared language. Um, but um, maybe there are some cultural differences. For example, yeah. in southern Spain, you have um, you don't say the S as much, like hasta luego, or yeah, hasta hasta luego. luego, you don't say that. So, and it's similar in the United States where people's languages might be a little bit different. You can hear accents. Um, and there are some cultural differences too. Um, for example, in New York, people are very fast paced, walk very fast, very business oriented. In, um, the South, it's slower and people are considered to be yeah, more relaxed and, and maybe more friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And between the East and West state? Oh, yeah. Same. Okay. Um, I think in the West, they're more relaxed too, but um, they also are more nature oriented in the West because the West oh. part of the United States is very pretty. We have a lot of national parks, mountains, beautiful um, waterfalls, and mm -hmm. and um, and canyons like the Grand Canyon. And yes, and oh, um, uh, I will so, love to go to Yellowstone. 
Oh yes. Oh, me too. Sometime soon, I hope. Um, so their people over there tend to be more in nature um, and like that. And, and in the um, other side, yes, there is nature over here, but it's it's not as big part of the culture, um, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And well, what do you think about guns or uh, weapons, you know, gun control in the country? What do I think about guns in the United States? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have the Constitution, which says in the Second Amendment that everyone can have a gun. Well, not everyone, you know, you, you yeah. can't be a criminal, you can't be a criminal, but you have the right to own a gun. Um, but I think that um, we have some issues and actually most of the people in the country support some changes to our gun laws, um, more background checks, um, for example, to make sure that bad people don't get guns. Yeah. Um, and so I think that the United States, we're a little too obsessed with guns. I'm not like, I could go maybe shoot one and have fun for a day. You know, we have something called a shooting range. Oh yeah. Um, I've shot a gun and it can be fun, but um, I think we're, I think there are some people who are obsessed, yes. if you know that word, like crazy yes. about them. Yes, and, yes. And Addictive too, or something. yes, it's too much. It's like, okay, you, it's a lot. Um, and it's, and uh, we need some changes to our laws. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. And what do you think about law enforcement? Um, I think that the purpose of them is to protect people and to um, and to um, get criminals, bring in criminals, um, and and but there are challenges um, because they don't, they sometimes are full of their own power and can take things too far. And mm -hmm. that happens a lot of times um, as we've seen many videos to non-white people. Um, mostly yeah, like, uh, like George Floyd. Yes, so awesome. I think that um, it's a cultural change. And now that we can see it recorded on phones, um, people are saying, hold on, we have to look at how police officers are trained, who they are. We have to make sure that good people with good intentions are in these roles. And that's not to say that everyone is like that, but, um, yeah, yeah. but we have to do a better job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And oh, um, have you red question, red question? Have you ever been like walking on the street or doing your stuff, and you have seen an act of racism? Um, yes. I. It depends on. I've seen many, many times, actually, yes. Um, I can think of, it depends on what you mean. Um, yeah, what I consider about what, what could yeah. be racist or not. There, there are different levels, I think, to it. You know, for example, if someone goes to attack somebody else, you know, that's really bad. But if somebody, and then if somebody calls somebody else a name, that's bad, but it's not as yeah. bad as beating someone. Um, I've never seen someone attack. But I have seen what we call slurs, which are like bad names. Um, yeah, like the the end war. Yes, exactly. I've seen that. And in fact, I I was one time with a friend, a white friend and a black friend. Mm -hmm. And I remember the white friend was saying the N word, not at the black friend. They were just saying it a lot. And the black friend said was very not comfortable. That's Oh yeah. And um, I remember I said to the white friend, like, you shouldn't say that, you know, and he stopped, but um, 
So that wasn't that bad, but it also wasn't that good. So, um, yeah. hmm. um, but I know, I know many of my friends who have had, um, who are black or, you know, whatever color and, um, they've had experiences. So mm -hmm. yes, it definitely happens. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And what do you think about the intervention of the United States in the Vietnam War? <laughs> hey, that's um, actually a thing that we have discussed. Rambo. Oh, no. <laughs> Chuck um, Norris. No. Yeah. I don't... I, I have to... If you ask me about the dropping of the atomic bomb on Japan, yeah. I, have an, I have a good answer for that. But for Vietnam, I would have to go back and remember and learn the situation better. But from my understanding, I don't think it was necessary. So yeah. I would have I think I would have been against it. I wasn't alive, but um Yeah, we understand. Yeah, yeah. But for the atom bomb, I don't think that was at all necessary, if you know what I'm talking about in World War II. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to talk about that, you can you can tell us. Yeah. yeah. So that was um, you know, Japan had dropped a bomb on Hawaii, but yeah, Para, para Harbor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we the war was coming to an end and um, we were dropping bombs on Japan, something called, I think, carpet bombing is the name in, in, yeah. in English. And um, it's basically like fire bombs all throughout Japan. And yeah, like, yeah, like uh, Napalm. Mm -hmm. oh, no. so, so good job. You guys are very smart. Um, you know, a thank lot. you. So I hope you get an A. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the um, we they were already defeated and i think the bomb was um just a giant um message to them and i don't okay. think it was right because a lot of innocent people were killed um civilians yeah so yeah, i don't think I it th was necessary i think that if they have to do it like just one because why why two why why two bombs yes and what do you think about the purchase of Alaska? The purchase of Alaska? This is a um, question, right? No, yes. it's good. Um, I don't. It's fine. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice. It yeah. became a super country when it purchased it. So, do you yeah, have any um, question left? I mean, I don't remember the context. I don't remember. I think we bought it from Canada. Um, from Russia. Oh, was it Russia? Okay, see, I forgot. Um, I was gonna oh. say Russia. I was either Russia or Canada. Oh yeah, it had to have been Russia because Canada, okay, yes, it was Russia. You're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's fine. You know, it's okay. Nice. And um, this is a red and a little bit personal question, but uh, do you know what is the Irish IRA? The, the Irish, Irish what? Army. IRA, the people who fought for the independence of Ireland. IRA. Um, do you mean that was recent, right? IRA. Yeah. The, uh, the people who... Uh, Ireland was a colony of the United Kingdom, no? Mm -hmm. So these people fought against the British to... To, for the independence of the oh. Ireland. And okay. uh, does or has your family had any relationship with the Irish IRA? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Nah. Please, no. Okay. Better, better. No. That's good. And the last question uh, Who is for you? Who is Cody Anton? Who am I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, well, um, I can answer this in many ways. Um, I am right now a student and um, I'm graduating soon. I'm a son, a brother, um, an uncle, oh, yeah. um, friend. I'm a good friend um, and I'm ambitious. You know the word? Yes. Um, and driven, uh, which also means ambitious. Um, and 
friendly. I like to learn. Um, and, and, um, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, compassionate, try to be funny sometimes. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, that's good. Hmm. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. And this was, uh, those were the questions for this interview. And thank you very much for accepting our invitation again. You're welcome. And it was a really good questions. I'm impressed. Very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So I will send you, I will go ahead and stop the recording. Okay. It's very important to say that our invitee, Cody William Anton, didn't have the questions before the interview, yeah. so he couldn't prepare them. It was all natural. Yeah, all natural. Natural and, and spontany and spontany. Yeah. It was all natural and spontany. Yeah, goodbye. And thank you to you again, Cody. See you soon and see you all soon. Goodbye.